In this video, we're going to go ahead and work with matrix, matrices to solve systems of equations. Specifically in this video, we're going to solve a system of two equations, two unknowns, using matrix format, and I'm going to work it by hand. After we're done, I'll go ahead and show you how to use the calculator to solve the same matrix. And by calculator, I mean the TI-83 Plus and the TI-84 series of calculators. If you're using a different series of calculator or a different brand and they're graphing, most likely they can work with matrices and there will be commands for that at, on the, on the uh, calculator's website. All right, let's go ahead and get started. In a previous video, I addressed the, the, the kind of the setup of the matrix. We are going to be very interested in the Gaussian elimination rules. Call that we can multiply any row by any non-zero constant. We can switch any two rows, and we can find the sum of two rows and replace either row with the sum. Now, secretary work, writing down what you're doing, taking good notes, this is going to be important. Because otherwise, the amount of stuff you write down becomes prohibitively large. Let's go ahead and get going. So here I've got my system. I want to represent this as a matrix. I am going to have a 2 by 3 matrix. This is called an augmented matrix because it has an answer, effectively an answer column. But you're simply going to write all of your equations in standard form and alphabetical order so that you have an x column, a y column, a z column, and then a constant column, or in this case, x column, y column, constant column. You put these, you put only the coefficients in the same exact position in the matrix. So this is going to be negative 1, 3, and 2. And on the bottom row we have 1, 29, and negative 10. I'm going to separate the augment here. Recall that the matrix on the left with the four uh, uh, elements or entries, this is called the coefficient matrix. The second matrix over here that has simply two entries is called the augment. Together is called an augmented matrix. So let's go ahead and get going on how to solve these. Remember the rules. We can multiply any row. I'm just simply going to rewrite this. We can multiply any row by any number other than zero. We can add two rows and put the result in either row. And we can swap any two rows. When we're done, the look of it wants to be, I'm just going to put work. When we're done, we want ones on the diagonals. Zeros diagonal, by the way, starts in the upper left corner and then moves diagonally downward and to the right. We want ones on the diagonal in the coefficient uh, matrix and then whatever values are over here are going to correspond with the proper uh, variable value. And so when we're done we have 1x plus 0y is the x value so it'd be x equals whatever value happens to be an x. In the second row, we'd have 0x's plus 1y, so y equals whatever value is in the y spot. That's our goal. Let's go ahead and get going. Here's what I like to do to start out. I want to make sure that in the upper left-hand corner, so we're talking about the very first entry, in this spot right here, I want a positive 1. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. We can multiply through by negative 1 on the top row, or we can swap the two rows. I am going to swap the two rows. And so I'm going to make a good note here and say row 1 to row 2. Row 2 to row 1. R stands for row. And I'm just, this R sub 1 or subscript 1 simply stands for row 1. So I can go ahead and rewrite this. The, sec the bottom row comes to the top is 129, negative 10. The second or the top row goes to the bottom is negative 1, 3, and 2. The reason I do this is I tend to work in a U shape. I tend to work down, then over, then back up. That's how I tend to work. 
And so that's how I want to show it here. In that case, what we want to do is we want to make this entry zero. That's what we want right there. Now, we could go ahead and add any two rows together and place the result in a row of our in one of the two rows. If we add 1 and negative 1, we get 0, and that's what I need. So I can add rows 1 and 2. I'm going to take row 1, I'm going to add it to row 2, and I'm going to put the result in row 2. That's my note to myself. So my result is, now I'm adding row 1 and 2, but put, putting the result in row 2, so row 1 does not change. It's just 1, 29, and negative 10. This is a good habit to get into, is just write the row that doesn't change. Because now I say, what is 1 plus negative 1? It's 0. What's 29 plus 3? It's 32. What is negative 10 plus 2? negative 8. Okay, so now I have my result. Again, I simply added row 1 to row 2, and I put the, the result back in row 2. I wanted a 0 here in this lead spot for the second row. That's why I chose to do this. Okay, at this point, it's up to you how you want to proceed. But I need a 0. I have a 1 here. I need a 1 right here. I'm going to go ahead and divide or multiply through by 1 32nd. The effect is dividing through by 32. Please add and multiply. I know you don't like fractions. Most people don't. That's fine. I don't care for fractions either if I can, st if I can stand it. But it's going to be easier to add and multiply than to try to find sign errors with uh, subtraction and worse division problems. So just multiply. It's going to simplify your life. I therefore am going to multiply row 2 by 1 32nd. And I'm going to put that result in row 2. Again, row 1 does not change, so I'm just going to copy that over. 0 times 1 32nd is 0. 32 times 1 32nd is 1. Any number times its inverse is 1. Negative 8 times 1 32nd is negative 8 32nds, which is negative 1 quarter. Now, what I can do is I can multiply, and I'm going to add, I'm going to combine and add. If I multiply row 2 and add it to row 1, this zero will not add anything to the to the um, the entry above it, and so that's good because that won't change that one, and I want that one there. However, this one will attack this twenty nine, so I am going to and I'm going to put this down on the second level here. I'm starting to uh, just scroll over just a bit. I am going to multiply row two by twenty by twenty nine, but a negative so that I can have this equal but opposite signs. Negative 29 row 2 plus row 1 will go into row 1. This is why it's very important to keep track of what you're doing. If you need to run a piece of scrap paper off to the side to do this, that's fine. Do that. I can do it in one shot, which is why I write the notes to myself. So, in dark blue here, we have negative 29 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Don't forget to write down the stuff that stays put. So 0, 1, negative 1 quarter. Now, on the second column here, we have negative 29 times row 2. So I have negative 29 times 1 is negative 29, time, uh, plus 29 is 0. Negative 29 plus 29 is 0. That's what it says here. Negative 29 times row 2 plus row 1. And put that answer in row 1. So we got it. Now, negative 29 times negative 1 quarter is positive 29 quarters. I have to add that to negative 10. 
negative 10 in quarters is negative 40 quarters. So a positive 29 minus 40 gives me a negative 11 quarters. If you need to, put that off to the side. Now, we have it, we look like one's on the diagonal, zero's everywhere else, just like what we wanted to do up here. We're done. This interprets as 1x plus 0y is equal to negative 11 fourths, and 0x plus 1y equals 1, or negative 1 quarter. That means that x is equal to negative 11 fourths, and y is equal to negative 1 quarter. Now, uh, if you have taken some previous uh, matrix, matrix theory before, and you're arguing with me on, the, on how I present the answers, the technical way to present the answers is to say the column vector uh, x, y, if you don't do this, don't worry about it, is equal to negative 11 quarters, negative 1 quarter. It's not, if you're just beginning this, you're looking to interpret the, the data, not write it in a specific format. Now this is a point though, and you must interpret it as a point. The vector points at the point. That's why they write it in this form over on the left. But this is the, this is the ordered pair, negative 11 fourths, comma negative 1 fourth. And that's your answer. In the next video, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how to do this with your calculator. And this is going to be a lot easier.